Hello everyone, this is Sean from AI Strategies. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to bypass AI detection as of uh, April 19th, 2023. So recently there was a lot of updates to AI detection and uh, honestly, they're not for the better. So like originality AI just gives a bunch of false positives. You probably noticed this if you've been trying to test to see if your work has been AI detected or not. And it just shows up with a bunch of false positives. So yeah, um, they changed that the way that they uh, detect for AI in a not very good way honestly they changed it to more like formatting and stuff like that rather than perplexity and burstiness which is what it mostly went on by before so that's kind of an issue honestly at this moment in time originality ai is just not a service that is worth using so we're gonna be going off of zero gpt today i don't know when they're gonna fix originality ai right now it just doesn't really work how it's supposed to honestly like even the uh like text or articles from early in the 2000s that uh obviously weren't written by ai get false positive as 100 percent ai through originality ai so hopefully they fix that soon but in the meantime i'm gonna be going over a way that you can get past ai besides uh, uh originality ai so we're gonna use zero gpt for today and of course the last time that i made a video uh creating a uh how to get past ai detection a they do this update and uh it's not great so there's not really a good way to get past ai anymore without having to pay for an application however netis ai it does give you a few free uh you know ai bypasser uh detection you know rewrites for your articles or whatever you need to do but there is a certain amount of characters that you can use for uh netis ai so if you guys want to check it out i'll leave a link it's not terribly expensive it was ten dollars and i got a whole bunch of points here i think it will last me about forever but um yeah i'll leave a link if you guys want to check that out but basically i'll show you guys how it works so we got three here uh different prompts that i want to do we got a marine biology one, best dog food brand and getting rich in 2023. So first, I'm gonna have this rewrite, uh, I'm gonna have the Netis AI rewrite this article on how to get rich in 2023. And the thing about Netis is that there's different bypassers. So there's one through 10, I mean one through 12, I mean, sorry. Uh, and they all are going to rewrite it in a different way. And the goal is to get past the AI, but not all of them work the same for what you want to write. So I would suggest just going through all of them, see which one works best for your passage or paragraph or article. And you can use that one, but you might just have to play with it a little bit before finding the one that works best, best to uh, get past the AI detection. So we're just going to do this. We're going to use Bypasser V8, just a random one that I chose. There's no in particular uh, reason I picked that one, but I just thought it would probably be better than the first one. And it's going to spit out a result that, uh, you know, is rewritten. So hopefully this can now pass AI detection. Hold up real quick. We'll do a little detection right here uh, so we can have a baseline test real quick and 89% AI uh, written. So that was pretty obvious. It was all written by uh, ChatGPT, but now we're going to copy the Netis AI one and we're going to put it into our zero GPT. Uh, it rewrote it as a paragraph, which is kind of interesting, but yeah, zero AI GPT. So hundred percent human. So that's, that's good. So you can always check out the different bypassers, but we're going to move on to a marine biology one. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet so that, um, you can get on with your life. We put in the next marine biology one. So, uh, this is the second test that we're going to do with bypasser V10. Uh, let me actually do the control one so we can see how much of a difference it is. And it's hundred percent AI written. And then we got our new paragraph about marine biology and we're gonna paste it in here and it's going to tell us 100% human written. So, hey, it works. <laughs> uh, I would check out uh, Bypasser V10. It seems to work for a majority of the, the paragraphs that I've been putting in. I've only done two so far, but I mean, you can just toggle through all of them and check which one that works best for you. And we're gonna do on to the third one, uh, the best dog food brands to buy. This is like an article. 
uh, that uh, I would write or something like that. Um, and we're gonna put it in Netis AI, but we're actually going to try a different one this time. But hold up, I'm gonna just uh, copy this real quick so that we can get a baseline test. And uh, we are going to expect, yep, 83% AI written um, according to zero GPT. So honestly, zero, zero GPT might be the best way to detect AI at this point. Uh, originality AI, like I was saying earlier, is just so sh stupid right now. It just like doesn't give you the right, I don't know. We're gonna try bypasser V9 for this one. Um, I put in the dog food prompt and uh, it's going to give us a different, uh, you know, format for that. So here we are, get the new one, copy. We're gonna see how much of a difference it makes. And I used bypasser V9 for this one just to use a different bypasser to see if it changes anything. And this is the only test that we got 27% uh, AI written. So the other two were 100% human. This one's 27, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick what you can do. So if you think that you could get a better score on the AI detection test, then you just change it. So I changed it from nine to 10 and we're gonna see how much of a difference it makes. Um, it should uh, rewrite it a different way because uh, they all have different uh, formats that they do for each bypasser. But uh, yeah. All right, so we got our new uh, paragraph with the bypasser V10 instead of V9 this time. And we are going to try it. Hopefully give us a better score than 27%, which is actually not that bad, but maybe, oh, here we go, 100% human written. So that's really good, honestly. So with Netis AI, you can actually use the bypasser tool uh, and successfully get past zero GPT. Uh, originality AI, again, is literally like just not great at all. Like, I don't know what they did to the service, but it just legit doesn't work anymore. Like. Uh, so we got 0% AI GPT on the zero GPT, which is the actually what uh, <laughs> Chad GPT is made from the same company. So I think their technology is pretty decent. But when looking at originality, AI, which was the leading one previously, it just gives you a super high false positive, like 7% original. That's kind of crazy. Like, how could these be two so far apart? Um, especially when you test things that obviously like weren't written by AI, you could put any article in here and it will give you 100% AI written. Like there, I don't think there's any way to really get past originality AI at this point, which I don't know, it's just false positives, honestly. You guys shouldn't even have to worry about that. Just, I would just completely avoid using originality AI at this point. If you guys learned something and enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing because that is what this channel is about, different AI strategies that you can use to further yourself and your business. So uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like, comment any questions or concerns, and uh, yeah, this has been Sean, and peace.